we're going to be seeing pretty much everything getting connected. Being able to come home and sit down on the couch and say, it's movie time, and the blinds go down, the TV turns on, the popcorn machine goes off, and the movie starts playing. That's an example of, of I, I'm having a single dialogue with the assistant, but the assistant in turn can help me with all the different things in my home and make it much, much easier to do those interactions. Early days, you had the computer with a, with a keyboard and a mouse, and that evolved into slowly. We, we had mobile phones with touch interfaces, and where we got into the more of a voice assistant kind of interfaces, it, was, it started with being able to recognize what people were saying, speech recognition, things like that. And then that, over time, evolved into, well, if we can recognize the words, can't we even understand what's being said? First of all, the assistant is, 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 is one product that lives across all these different devices and all these different uh, entry points. So there's going to be a category of devices where you actually have that interaction. So speakers are a natural one. They, they, they have a microphone and then you, they can talk back to you. But then there's a whole slew of, of other kinds of devices, such as your lamp and your, your, your washing machine and whatnot, which you might not talk directly to them, but you want to be able to interface through the assistant to them. And then the assistant becomes, it plays a role of, of orchestration. Hey Google, good morning. So basically you have an interaction with the assistant and then in turn the assistant can do things on your behalf with all the different appliances in your home. Hey Google, show me the kids room. And then I think that's kind of getting people to think about, okay, now we have finally this, this connected home happening. Uh, what are the kinds of interesting things that are gonna happen that, that could be added to that that makes sense? If you think about how the assistant is getting better, there's the individual level, which is your personalization, which is it's getting better for you. And then there's the, the collective level, which is anonymous. There's no association with that at that, at that point. And then we can do machine learning of that to make the, the, the global models better. Like we got so far and it's working but it's not quite there yet in terms of being as natural as you want it to be. Like, how do you make this so seamless that it just feels like one of the participants in the conversation very naturally? So I think there's a lot to be done there to make sure that you can use this without even having to consider that you're, you're interacting with technology, because it's so natural it kind of blends in without having, having to think about it.